Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day for the TG Worlds 2018 If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel And if you're watching live with me on Twitch, thank you so much <clears throat> for hanging out with me So, it's been a while since I played Greninja in English, I did play it for Spanish um, Which, there's a big debate right now on my Facebook page About whether Spanish videos should continue or not And whether I always favor English content more But there was uh, there were definitely ex Spanish exclusive videos um, like a couple of weeks ago where I did Greninja and some other deck and I actually didn't have the English video for that I only had it in Spanish so we're gonna be using Greninja the list that got uh, top 4 at Portland well at least at Charlotte one card different I believe and then this list got top 16 at Portland um, Joey Rudiger's hot streak um, of top 8 every event uh, came to an end but he did top 16 with this list um, the card behind here like the card right here is a star me from evolutions just making sure that you guys know which card it is and so we have the good and trusty Greninja 130 HP shadow stitching deals 40 damage and you get to stop well your opponent cannot use abilities during their, their next turn so it's not like uh, it's not like Garbotoxin which can be solved uh, or can be patched by playing four field blowers, um, shadow stitching actually is an effect that can only be removed by playing Pokemon Ranger, uh, which is definitely not a card that you would want to end up playing in a lot of lists. Uh, good and trusty, <laughs> yeah, good and trusty, I guess. Um, it was good for him, at least. Um, then we have Moonlight Flash dealing 60 damage plus 20 more if you return up water energy to your hand. Um, it can be a splash or a basic, it doesn't make a difference. And free retreat cost and weakness to grass. So an overall pretty good card. But then we have the Greninja Break, which is what makes this deck absolutely busted. Um, <clears throat> Giant Water Shuriken allows you, if it's active, if Greninja Break is active, you get to discard a card. <laughs> um, if Greninja Break is active, uh, you get to discard a Water Energy from your hand and play six damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, it is not April 1st yet indeed. This video might come out on April 1st though, we never know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that, uh, that ability plus um, limiting um, abilities from your opponent is actually really really good. Uh, we get also water duplicates from Frogadier which allows you to search for Frogadiers from your deck and put them on your bench so you get deck thinning and you get to avoid having to go through Froakie. Um, we have a 1 Espion EX, 2 Devolve, so we can uh, strategically place damage counters on Evolved Pokemon and then Devolve them to get uh, a lot of prizes at the same time. We also have Tapu Fini GX for its Tapu Storm GX attack, which shuffles the opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck, which is really, really good um, against things like a powered up Tapu Bulu, a powered up Buzzle, powered up Guardi. Um, and then finally we have one Tapu Lele GX for its Wonder Tag ability. Um, Giratina promo indeed puts a big halt. Um, puts a big halt on this deck strategy because Giratina promo uh, makes it so that break Pokemon cannot use their abilities. And we have no way to Guzma or uh, Counter Catcher into a uh, knockout on that. Uh, but it's a risk you have to take. Um, we have the 1-1 one, one Starry line, Star you with a free retreat and smack, <laughs> and then um, and then we have uh, Star me with a Space Beacon ability where you get to discard a card and put back two basic energy from your discard pile. So combination between Star me and Greninja, you get to reuse those energy to just place uh, so many damage counters all over the board and win that way. Um, Beast awesome, I live in Mexico City. Um, and yeah, supporters wise, we have four Cynthia, four N, and three Sycamore. Um, purely draw supporters, consistency 11 out to drawing. Um, once Cynthia got released, um, it gained an extra an extra way to draw cards. Um, I don't know why we never tried uh, Shona instead of Cynthia, but hey, now that there's Cynthia, we get those um, this consistent draw support line. Um, we have four Ultra Ball as well to search for our Pokemon. We have four Evil Sodas to try and search for the Frogadier on turn two, and also set up more Greninjas and Breaks and Starmies. Triple Brooklet Heal to make sure that we don't get dunked. 
double enhanced hammer and double choice man for utility, double field lore as well. And then finally one rescue stretcher and one super rod for recovery. Um, four splash energy and six basic water energy uh, round out the deck. And so let's use uh, Greninja in the ladder. Um, good old trusty Greninja. <laughs> um, Dragon Rage, I agree that Giratina promo stops your entire strategy. Um, the issue is uh, running Giratina Promo is also a liability because it's a completely useless card in every other matchup. Um, so if you're not playing Greninja, it's like you're playing a 59 card deck against a 60 card deck. Um, and Mexico City is in Mexico the country, um, not in New Mexico the state. <laughs> so I live in Mexico the country. <laughs> OG Mexico, <laughs> indeed. And in just a go, you think Greninja should run to Guzma? Um, I have tried running Guzma, I have also tried running... Um, wow, my opponent just immediately concedes. I have tried running Counter Catcher as well, uh, but in the end you really need the consistency. Um, as I was playing a list at the beginning of the season on stream with 4 Shono, 4 N4, 4 Sigmar, 4 Brooklet, 4 Ibisoda, and 4 Timer Ball. Um, that makes sense. Uh, the only thing that changes is Cynthia gets you an extra card. But yeah. Uh, you thought Paolo was Argentinian? No. I am definitely not Argentinian. Um, <clears throat> I am definitely not Argentinian. I have been to Argentina once before, but I am not from there. Granger um, <laughs> too strong insta scoop indeed. Okay, so we got a mulligan, typical Greninja hand. And we got another mulligan for whatever reason. I thought they skipped this, but I guess my opponent also got a mulligan. And we're up against a fire deck. Uh, so we got an immediate scoop and now we get a, a very easy matchup, most likely. Um, Sylvian's best wish, loading those energies on Gren right now. <laughs> Yeah, Sylvian um, doesn't have a good time with Greninja. One of my losses this weekend was actually to Greninja. Um, so we get a workable hand. Uh, we're hoping to top deck as draw supporter, one of the 11 draw supporters that we do have. Um, but we should have some time. Like next turn, I might actually. Ooh, the Brooklyn heal helps us, I guess. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from Mexico City, guys. Mexico, the country. Viva Mexico. Okay, so already double Volk. Um, this was actually the matchup of the Hartford Regionals final. Um, and now we get end. So we could get a better hand or we could get a worse hand. And this is arguably worse than the hand we had before. And yeah, we that's the second Volk we've played today, right? This is the second Volk we've played. Okay. So let's brook that heal to check our price cards. We see that one frog key is priced. Uh, we see that one frog at ear is priced as well. One frog key, one frog at ear. Um, one brooklet. And then <clears throat> one Cynthia. One basic water and then something else. So... Since we do have one Frogadier prized, I'll just thin the Froki here. It's likely that we lose the active Froki, unless I manage to flip heads. Um, I don't think I want to field lower this. I'll probably save that for Floatstones and uh, Fighting Fury Belts. And so we get an okay-ish hand as a follow-up to the one we had before. And we will flip Tails and Bubble, as expected. Um, Beastosm, I got 16th at the last regional I went to in um, <clears throat> I got 16th at Portland regionals and Ivan, yeah, very nice Mexico flag <laughs> um, Cabrix um, you wanna sell your collection of online TCG cards? it is illegal uh, well, not illegal but it is against the terms and conditions of um, of the game that you agreed to when you download it uh, to sell that so unfortunately I can't give you any information of that because I generally don't have any and you could also get in trouble for doing so um, so now I'll grab the star you to thin um, 
What are the chances that my opponent has two natural fire energy in his hand to knock out my frog at ear? I'm gonna hope not very high. Um, even with two Greninja, we should be able to pull this off. Um, so no, I don't try to dig for the splash here because the end refreshes my opponent's hand, gives him an extra card, and I could also end up drawing the frog at ears. Um, so yeah, I purposely chose not to do so. Um, there's a first team up. There's a Cynthia, so um, it's fine. Like I feel like in this matchup, two Greninjas should be enough. Um, well. I mean, it depends on if he has a uh, retreat on this Volk to knock out my first Greninja. Then it could start getting very tricky. Um, or very difficult, rather. So yeah, double team up means Frogadier goes down, but I do believe that it was not correct to take for the um, for the splash there. Hopefully I don't end up regretting it, but... Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I had like a, a thingy. Okay, so... I don't want to promote the star you because I want to just immediately evolve to thin, as I mentioned. Um, I get a brooklet, so I'll just evolve here. Um, I'll attach the energy, and then I will end my opponent down to four. And we barely get one Greninja out. Is not ideal. Um, choice band could be helpful, but I don't think I can afford to keep it here. So I'll just get rid of it and I'll get a Greninja. Could have waited for the splash. I don't think that was the right call. And I'll just end up super arting right now. These three cards. And I'll grab a Froki. And then we will Shadow Stitching. So no Lele for my opponent, no Steam Up. Um, no need to knock out this Vault because what we want is for him not to get an Energy or a Floatstone to retreat it. If he does, then we are in serious trouble for sure. If he does, we are in serious trouble. It's likely that he will find it though. We need a double Greninja to get to the break, because the break can never be one shot. Ooh, we see a Kuzma. I feel like this is okay. Um, losing the Frogadier sucks. Maybe I could have been more patient with the Super Art. Um, we still have the Stretcher, and... Like, being able... Oh, <laughs> nice timing Greninja. Okay, that sucks. That one really sucks. Um, well, I guess we have another two Greninjas. Yeah, it's fine. This should be fine. If we get the break and the Frogadier, and there they are, um, this should be fine. I even get a, the Rescue Stretcher, which is awesome. Um, okay, so we're definitely not afraid of the Baby Bulk. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Giant Water Shuriken this guy, and I even got the Choice Man too, so we're in a really good spot. And I will do this. And... Okay, I'm gonna space peek on this to get the two waters and I don't think my Lele is priced, right? So I'm gonna stretch her back the Frogadier. Um, it's okay to have one Greninja in the discard pile. Um, tech 111 star me break for mirror, not really. Uh, do Manchas. Other than playing Pokemon TCG, do I collect? No, not really. Um, I have a, a small collection of older decks um, hanging out at my mom's house, <laughs> um, which are all foil and stuff. Um, so I know Rugged Sadmins are worth a lot right now. Um, so it's like a small, <laughs> uh, there's a small fortune there. Um, but that's the only thing I, that I've collected um, in the past. Um, just the, just the old decks. Um, I have like a first edition Charizard somewhere, um, but it's like all beat up and stuff. Um, I really don't, like, I'm not a big collector by any means. Um, I have some cards that I appreciate because of their, like, sentimental or historical value, but that's pretty much it. 
that is pretty much it. Okay, so another 20 damage, that's fine. Um, that Volk is ready to be knocked out at any point. Ooh, we top deck the Cynthia, that is so awesome. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Giant Water Shuriken first on this Volk. I don't mind. Um, like, getting knockout is really cool there. Um, Greninja Break should be safe. There's no way my opponent can deal an extra 20 damage. And then I'm gonna Space Beacon the Water for to Water. Because you can't Space Beacon the same card that you... You can't get back the same card that you discarded. But this works out. I get essentially a free Ultra Ball. I get to set up a Greninja. And then I get to Cynthia for 6 um, brand new cards. Which is really nice. So we should be good here. And hello Miss Myla. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Very nice uh, Charmander heart emoji. That's really cute. Um, okay. So my opponent could definitely Guzma. And there's a victory. Yeah, at that point we were just way too far ahead. Way, way, way too far ahead uh, for my opponent to make any sort of comeback. So yeah, pretty good matchup that we hit right there. Um, interesting to note, guys, as I mentioned, there's a lot of Zorak hate. Um, we have yet to face a Zorak deck after over an hour of playing, which is really interesting, right? Not something you would expect. And as I say that, we're probably up now to, we probably are up against the Zork. Um, <laughs> JGV, you have to pause the Omnipoke Table 1 video in order to watch Table 1 live. First world problems. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, it was really fun, it was a really cool interview uh, with Omnipoke. Um, I'm gonna do a Facebook post about it later, but it was really, really fun. Um, so yeah, if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, um, over at Omnipoke's YouTube channel, um, he interviewed me. We were just playing and chatting for like an hour, hour and a half. Um, so you guys should definitely check that out on his channel. It was a really cool, a really cool interview. Like really laid back, we were just chatting, having fun. Um, it was really cool. I mean, like, he's doing that, so I should do the same for him, right? I should interview him in the same style, asking the same questions, so people get to know more about him as well. Okay. So, we get an extra card off of the Mulligan. Um, you face more puzzles than Zorax lately? Yeah. Uh, you beat Greninja to win a challenge with Volk? Yeah, I mean, it's not an unbeatable matchup, for sure, but... Um, Greninja is definitely favored. Um, and Beast tells him what happened when there was an earthquake. Uh, it was really scary. Okay, I feel like Froki should be safe. And also by drop passing, my opponent should not be tempted to end me. He should just go for the Bridget. Um, Beast tells him the earthquake. Uh, there was a big earthquake that happened back in September. And it affected many people's lives here in Mexico. Um, I personally wasn't affected in terms of any physical damage or anything, but like the whole sentiment of the country was uh, a big deal. And so I spent those days just trying to help as much as I could. Um, and then recently there was another earthquake, not as bad, but like we're all super shaken from the previous, um, from the, that, from the previous earthquake. Uh, so that's when you saw me guys, uh, in the Empoleon video, just run out. Uh, <laughs> To, to safety in the street, because you never know, right? Um, you never know how big the earthquake will actually be. Um, okay, so my opponent will actually searching Magnet. <laughs> Interesting decision. Um, JGB, um, I am tracking all the matches in a spreadsheet. It's very simple, like it's not anything complicated. Um, what I have is essentially, ooh, getting rid of two water feels iffy. Uh, but the rest of the cards are pretty good. Maybe I can get rid of, I bet. Maybe I can get rid of Old Trouble. Um, okay, so there's a Frogadier, there's no Frogadier's prize, there's one Greninja prize, and one break. There's um, one Brooklet, one N, and one Sycamore, and then one water or two water no one water um so yeah the the format is it's just the date the game was played uh the deck that i was using the deck that my opponent was using 
the result of the match, whether I won, lost, or tied, um, and then what it was for, coaching, testing, streaming, um, interviews, <laughs> um, and then what's the other? Let me check. And then which format it was, standard or expanded, then what language it was, English or Spanish, and then finally, um, if it was for coaching, who it was against. Um, so that's that's the spreadsheet that I'm using to keep track um, of over, I believe it's over 1300 games now played. Um, okay, I don't, like it's, like before in the previous game, I don't want to Cynthia into other Frogadiers. So I'm just gonna water to because here, even if it means that if I lose the Frogadier, um, I can't immediately evolve back down, I feel like this is fine. Because then Greninja, like nothing threatens the Greninja whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> an, an interview in Spanish would be funny. Um, yeah, when I was making the video, uh, when the earthquake hit, like nothing happened fortunately. Like it just, it shook and then that was it. But it felt pretty, pretty strong. Um, and yes, Beast Awesome, I do coach uh, Daniel Rosas. I do coach Daniel Rosas. Um, I've been coaching him for a year, actually. No. And yeah, speaking of Zoro, indeed. <laughs> okay. Want more? Thanks so much. Lots of new followers today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys so so much. Okay. So my boy will choose to use. Um, will choose to use to power up Corona Impact, which is interesting. Um, he did use Kuzma, but we do have the double Greninja, which is really good. Um, I can, I can just field lower this too, um, just to get it out of my deck now. Um, and then, is it worth? No, I feel like I should keep the energy alive as energy. <laughs> and yeah, Beast Awesome, I know who you are. <laughs> I know who you are. Okay, we get actually triple Greninja. Um... We really wanted a Brooklet for the story though, but this is fine. Also, a Froakie actually. We probably wanted a Froakie more so than the Staryu. Um, not gonna attach Choice Vents for now. I'll just Shadow Stitching. Losing the Greninja is really not a big deal at this point in time. Energy, that's fine. And that's also fine. That is also completely fine here. And there's a victory. Um, okay. <laughs> Babel. <laughs> Babel. Yes, Miss Myla. Um, I will be I will be attending Madison Regional. So I should be at every North American regional that's left. So Utah, Toronto, uh, Mexico City, Madison. That's the four that's left, right? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to Virginia. That's the one I'm not going to. <laughs> Pable is like a combination of Pablo and Table. <laughs> People have called me Pable before. And hello, Titan. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Rednax, do you know anything about the senior division meta from any of your students or anything like that? I mean, I feel like the, the meta in all divisions mirror each other very heavily. Um, there's nothing um, super standout or anything, but I feel like knowing the meta is a little bit overrated because in the end, um, you can't control what you're paired up against, right? Um, but yeah, the fact that there are no, there's no limitless TCG with the top 32 decks for seniors makes it a lot less uh, predictable or a lot less likely that you can predict it. Um, yeah, it will be at Toronto for sure. So I'm going to be in Utah, Toronto, then Mexico City, then Cancun, then Madison, and then there's a break, and then there's Mexico City Regionals, and then there's uh, the North American International. 
Ooh, okay, so we're up against that Buzzwolf deck. Um, so we could get Dog turn one. Uh, that was why it was important to play the end, so we could have... Um, we could reuse the Frokies. Um, well, rather so that we could find another Frokie. Uh, now I'm feeling a lot safer. We have the Evo Soda, and we're hoping to top deck as a Trust of Porter. Um, so yeah, May is gonna be crazy. We have a big break right now. Oh, that parallel hurts. We have a big break right now until Brazil. I'm not going to Colombia this weekend. I am not going to Stuttgart or Chile in, in June. I mean, in April. Um, how often do you price three frogs? You just did it in two games in a row. Wow, <laughs> the chances of that happening two games in a row uh, have to be minuscule. Like they have to be so, so small. Under one in a thousand games, I would imagine. Okay. So we can even soda. We don't have uh, any frog at your priced. Uh, we don't have any frog at your priced, but unfortunately, because of parallel, our bench is actually limited now. Um, so we might just have to take it slow here, but this is fine because my opponent's uh, bench or setup is not really threatening us whatsoever. Um, Am I going to any of the EU regionals not conflicting with NA dates? Uh, no, not this season. Um, it's something that I've thought about um, for next season. Um, but a lot depends on uh, sponsorships and what happens um, in terms of uh, next season. Um, okay, my opponent is apparently playing a straight carping deck. <laughs> Uh, we have the energy to retreat, which is fine. Um, 90 HP, so we don't get a knockout. Uh, Enhanced Hammer seems potentially useful. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of Starmie and the Hammer. Just because um, the break is also useful. Um, Toronto is looking very awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to Toronto. and. The one regional that I have won this season was in Canada, so why not make it double? Uh, I'm just gonna Shadow Stitch. <laughs> quad Carping is an anti-quad hoop. <laughs> um, Rosas lost the final, Peace Dossum. Uh, Rosas lost to Mia in the final. Um, so yeah, bro, mate, not this season, maybe next season I'll be able to do something like that. Um, but definitely not this season. Uh, I won't be traveling to Europe again this season. Um, I will for sure be at the next um, international, whenever that is, wherever that is. Um, oh gosh. By not doing more damage, I also don't have knockout now. Yeah, he got second. Um, but maybe next season, maybe next season, we'll see. I mean, when we have information on next season, that's when I'm like, I'll make a decision, but a lot depends on sponsorship. So if you wanna see me at EU Regionals, um, you should definitely uh, tweet to Sacker Scoop and let them know how much you appreciate their support, uh, them supporting Tableman, so that maybe they keep that up uh, for next season. Okay, now I have knockout, right? Uh, I actually didn't need to return the energy this time. I'm a bit distracted, but it's fine. Um, this is a meme deck to counter a meme deck. <laughs> yeah, you have a 0.23% of pricing 3 frog at year. Um, yep, that's pretty low. Uh, less than what I thought, but one every... Oh! Oh, that's in one game. Yeah, so that happening twice? Uh, yeah, that happening twice is what? One out of 0.23 times 0.23. How much is that? Um, 0.23 times 0.23. You have a 0.05% chance of that happening twice in a row. That's really weird. When's the Tord nerf? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like a lot of Latin Americans um, 
are like very proud and there's gonna be like this uh, Latin America against Tort mentality <laughs> to not let him win uh, to not let him get that last trophy um, okay doesn't choose to knock out the frog at here which is interesting um, still no draw supporter for us which is kind of sad. I don't want to commit, even though I have the Frogadier. I don't want to commit there. And... I mean, I'm not stopping abilities anytime soon, right? So I might as well just deal all the damage that I can. And set up for a potential choice man top deck. And also keep the energy, because it's the only one that I have left. Um, my opponent's setup is now looking better and better now and he's down to 17 cards so despite his tetras now he's gone through four sycamore yeah it is poor boss carp <laughs> not quad carping plot twist <laughs> nobody saw that coming <laughs> nobody saw that coming right guys Ooh, now there's a carping, I mean not a carping, a Psyguard powered up as well. And we have triple Greninja break. Ugh, well, we are in a lot of trouble here, guys. Um, oh, darn. This is not looking good, actually. <laughs> this is actually not looking good at all. We have not played a thing. oh, we've played one supporter. Um... So how do I feel about Sylvian versus Bulu? Um, it's actually very manageable for the Sylvian uh, because what you need to do is keep bringing up the Pika Vault. If Bulu plays one or two Floatstone, then it becomes extremely difficult. Um, but I did beat Tapu Bulu Pika Vault for my win and in um, in a very close match for sure. Um, but it's all about like controlling the energy, right? So if you promote Pika Vault and they attack you, they never knock out your Sylvian. Um, you also have bodybuilding dumbbells, you have Parallel CD and Lusamine to keep uh, recovering it to make sure, and you have Field Blower to make sure that Tapu Bulu is not getting the one hit KOs. And then if they don't discard their energy, because they're not gonna knock you out, um, you can build a Guardi to knock out the Tapu Bulu to remove those three energy. So it's not as, as easy as Bulu should win because it has a lot of energy recovery, it's really not like that. Um, it's generally not as 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 straightforward um, as that. Okay, so we finally get a water. Landstrat is dealing a hundred, so with a strong energy that would be a knockout. But at least we force my opponent to have the strong energy. Um, so I mean, shadow stitching or mobile slash doesn't make a difference. We get two prize cards, which is cool, but the damage that we already have might just prove to be too un overwhelming. And we don't, we still don't have a supporter. We 100% need a field. We need to top. In order for us to have a chance, we need to top deck a field lower. That's the only way we maybe get a win here. I left the energy to recover the pieces. Maybe I should not have done that. We see a Kuzma, okay. Yeah, Bulu's energy never survives anyway, but that's fine because, like I said, um, you have them like with a low card hand, uh, you have parallel CD. So every time Bulu wants to get a knockout, they need to find a choice band and they need to find a field blower. It's not as clear as, as that. Uh, ooh, and I did top deck the field blower. Okay, that's a pretty crucial top deck. Um, I'll remove these two. And so now I actually have knockout on the puzzle. Or I could just eliminate the carpenter uh, to make sure that I always have abilities. Uh, I'm definitely going for Sycamore here. Okay, that was a good top deck. Like, it's generally better than it looks in terms of, oh, Bulu can just knock out Sylvian, it should be easy. It's not as simple as that. 
Um, okay, finally we get something going. So I actually feel like getting rid of the Garbodor puts us at down to two prizes and then all we have to do is hunt down the puzzle, whatever it is. So I'll retreat. I'm retreating into this Greninja because it has a splash so it can already attack. So I don't have to rely on uh, drawing an energy off of the Sycamore. And, um, ooh, that's even, <laughs> that's a really good card to get. Um, I'll put back the Starmie and I'll put back, uh, actually, uh, yeah, I don't need water energy back because now there's no threat of Carbotoxin anymore. Yeah, that was a good top deck. That was a lucky top deck, but I was due for a something, right? <laughs> I was more due for a supporter than anything else, but it worked out in the end. So I already have the water. I feel like I'm just going to try and set up another Greninja. Um, and I'm going to Moonlight Slash, but I'm going to keep the energy. And yeah, next turn we essentially should win. We even got the hammer, which is cool. Okay, so we see a floatstone. So that puzzle is gonna run. Uh, now we're gonna have to deal with the side guard. We're gonna get the pieces back. We already had a ton of pieces. Um, we're gonna get end. Never mind. So it's actually cool that we get the pieces back, and we will get a sycamore. Okay, so lucky end to two, but also we have played barely any draw supporters. Uh, so we were due for. Like, we're bound to draw something, right? It might seem like we're getting lucky, but I don't think we are. Okay, and immediately we see another Trubbish go down. But the Garbodor is in the discard pile, so... I don't know how much recovery my opponent actually runs. Um, I'll grab the star here. Keeping the energy to attack is tempting, but I feel like my deck still has plenty of energy, especially Splash. So, I'll just stick them over here. We'll lose those two pieces, but that's fine because we still have other pieces. And perfect. I think I'll just attack with this one, actually. Uh, I probably want to do this. I don't care about... Uh, yeah. I don't care about setting up another Greninja. And then I will Moonlight Slash so I get back the pieces, I guess. 90, no, 60, 110, one, yeah. Now I'll keep the energy just to get back the pieces. You never know. But yeah, we have the win, right? We have the exact win in our hand. Um, if he tries to run, then we can double gen for the shuriken. Uh, I guess I should have returned the energy. Because I'm actually going to be short if he retreats and takes a knockout with... Well, if he does that, then I just knock out the puzzle. If he retreats and takes a knockout with Carbink, that could be... Ugly. I should have returned the energy. How many ends has my opponent played so far? Two, so we might be seeing another N. My opponent's deck is quite low, but he did just discard an N off of the Ultra Ball. So he must have another one, right? My opponent says, well played. So that should be game. Okay, so the one thing I did wrong was not be aggressive enough against the Carbinks. Um, I should have just kept attacking, attacking, attacking. And that would have been... Uh, game, but yeah, uh, we're on a seven game win streak guys. Let's keep that up Let's keep that up shall we? Let's keep that up <laughs> Azul is streaming with my Sylvian deck. <laughs> Very funny Well, not my Sylvian deck, a Sylvian deck that I used I definitely did not invent the Sylvian deck but I have done well with Sylvan. I've won a League Cup. Sylvan decks have won me 130 championship points. Um, 50 last season and then 80 this season. And then... 
with, uh, if you count Silv Guardy Sylvian, um, then it won me 200 more championship points at, um, at Vancouver, and then with the top 16, that's 80 more. So how many championship points is that? It's 160, 360. I've won 410 championship points playing Sylvian. Or, and Cardi, I guess. They've always been together. Uh, I feel like we hold this hand. That hand looks okay. And Ivan, <laughs> hello. Um, I'm actually debating on whether I should even keep any Spanish streams or videos. Um, just because they attract less people, um, the videos are declining in views. Like It's not like they're maintaining, right? But they are declining in views, which is not very nice. Um, okay. So what are the chances that my opponent uh, that my opponent has uh, energy, Golisopod. Ah, they're not very um, yeah, more Zorark. This is definitely the toughest Zorark matchup though. There's Zorark. Ah uh, yeah, I guess he need all he needs is TC. Evo Soda for other Zorark, I would imagine. Yeah, I I can't I don't understand how people choose not to use Force Splash. Choice Ban, TC, oh gosh. Okay, so my opponent should have led with the trade. There's an end. No, we had the hammer to trap that Zoark in the active spot. We had the hammer. Okay, we get a splash, which is nice. Uh, we also get the Brooklet heal to set up Staryu, which is also pretty nice. And yeah, more Zorak guys. More Zorak. <laughs> yeah, JGB. Like, I'm not gonna delete them. All the content that is in the channel is gonna stay as it is. Um, I just... I won't... I probably won't be producing any more content in Spanish moving forward. That's what I meant. But I won't be deleting them. I definitely won't be deleting them. Okay. So let's get that star you. And then let's get a Greninja, of course. Now we're looking for a hammer. <laughs> How to turn on their computer? Wow. <laughs> That's really sad. Um discarding both brokies? I feel like I keep one on the bench. And then I will seek out more. So we're looking for enhanced hammer, hopefully. Uh, we do not get it. We do get another Greninja, which is nice. We're also attaching um, splashes continually, which is cool. So I'll just shadow stitching there. So no more trading for my opponent. Once he gets a knockout, like we can follow this up with an N plus uh, shadow stitching, which would be cool. Uh, Fini this game, maybe. I mean, we have access to it with Brooklet Heal. It could be good to uh, shuffle back the Golisopod if that's his only. Um, that's his only attacker. Um, uses Puzzle of Time. I feel like that's a mistake if he's doing double puzzle. Um, because he could have easily retreated and double puzzled back the DCE and the N, which is a friendly one. Oh, he already has the, the, the thing. Never mind. Never mind. He kept turning the monitor on and off. <laughs> No choice, because we're not in any hurry to knock out the Zorark. Like, 30 damage there doesn't make a difference. And then we're obviously going to lose the Greninja. Um, but if we, if the Greninja... Like, the 30 damage will actually be important against um, Golisabeth's armor press. Yeah, so it's like, just because we could play the card doesn't mean we should have played it. Um, okay, so we get back the pieces, which is nice. And we got the hammer now, which is pretty cool. Uh, we definitely want to... Well, there's only one, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, we definitely want to discard the active, but... Uh, he paid the retreat cut, which is cool. Um, I want to play the field lower. 
just to thin the deck, I don't mind losing the Brooklet Heal, and I can't use it right now because I need um, I need to Lele for an N. And <laughs> oh no, Whippet's ability is no longer working. Okay, the armor press bug is still present, so we'll try to play around it. Um, wow, I did not get an energy. Okay, thankfully we did get Deva Soda for the Starmie. That was a really, really sad um, end though. But still a really sad end. Uh, what do I even space beacon? All the cards seem important. Uh, oh gosh. I feel like the hammer could be very important. I feel like I'm gonna get rid of the break? Or this guy? Uh, the break. Uh, that was such a sad end though. It deactivates at the end of their turn. So it never activates. Okay, so I'm gonna use the regular Greninja. So it should only be 20 damage, correct? Ah, uh, but this is very sad though. This is really, really sad. This is really, really sad. Acerola is now a problem. Oh, already had the DC again. It's another knockout. Need to top deck something. Yeah, this is gonna be a good match in terms of it's gonna be very close. Okay, N helps us. Plus a hammer. Okay, that was a good top deck. And we can do this, this, and this. I don't really need to put back the other Frogger here. I feel like I'm better off um, not making my deck too much bigger okay so this is a more acceptable hand for sure yeah we keep top picking okay so i will definitely giant water shuriken huh they call this a plan and now i get to do this with a splash which makes it better and i'm still not going to attach the choice band Okay, so this Gold Discipline should have 40 less damage, so it should be at 100 HP. Because the bug is active. Um, without the bug, it would be... Um, okay, Evil Soda, that's fine. You lost your winning in on Pokevich top cut last night because Oro got a 1k on Type Null even after an armor pressed. Oh, that's so sad. That is actually not very nice. Um, Kukui? <laughs> it's like we're playing Kukui. <laughs> or maybe I, I'm playing Pokemon Ranger in Greninja. It's useful for armor press and the mirror match, guys. <laughs> it's useful for both. Okay, this will be the last match of the stream today, guys. But I might be back later today to stream VGC. Um... Maybe at night, if I'm feeling like it, I might end up streaming. Okay, so... My opponent got a Kuzma. My opponent got a Kuzma. So we don't get those pieces back. Uh, I did top deck an Ultra Ball, which is nice. Okay. Um... Okay, so my opponent's Gold Discipline would have 100 damage. So I'm going to be fair, and I'm still going to Shadow Stitching. Even though I have Knockout with Choice Man already, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair and play as if the Armor Press was still active. So I'm going to discard these two. I'm going to grab a Break. And I'll Giant Warrior Shriek in the active and Shadow Stitching the active. Off of two cards... What are the chances that my opponent has a Grass Energy? His last, presumably last Grass Energy. So yeah, this giant Water Shuriken would put him at 160. And then 
choice band would get the knockout because I would be dealing 230. Okay. Um, if people see online, do you take random battle requests? Only if I'm on stream. Yeah, only if I'm on stream. Because if I'm online and I'm not streaming, I'm probably coaching. And hello, Rob. Hello, all the way to South Africa. Um, about that seven win streak, it's definitely in peril right now. It's definitely in a little bit of danger here. Um, especially with the hand we have now. Uh, I really want to set up another Greninja though. Yeah, like I want to play the game the right way, right? So I'm not going to abuse a bug. Uh, I already giant water. No, 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 no. I misclicked. Uh, I misclicked. Someone please tell my opponent to not trade. Someone please tell my opponent to not trade. <laughs> I misclicked Moonlight Slash. No. <laughs> no. Please. 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 I misclicked. No. If my opponent is fair, he won't abuse trade. But I assure you he's going to start trading immediately. Please don't. Please be fair. Ah, oh, yeah, that happy fit, yeah. Uh, that's what you get for being a nice guy, guys. <laughs> that's what you get for being a nice guy. No. Uh, if we lose this streak because of this, I'm gonna be so sad. No respect. Ah. Uh. Wow. Yeah, the happy face. Ah. Uh. <laughs> In a tournament, I I cannot misclick with my mouse. Ah. Uh. That was not cool, man. That was not cool. I don't even have end to punish this. Nah. Not cool. Yeah, that's gonna be game. Oh well. Well played. We would have made the comeback. We would have made the comeback. Um, we had my opponent under control. All we need to do afterwards is just um, target all the energy to the Golisopod, and we definitely would have won that one. Uh, unless he's, his next immediate top deck was the grass. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah. Why not Finny? Because he would have still gotten an, a turn of trading. Like, I didn't feel like fixing something like that. Ugh. Oh well. Nothing you can do about that, guys. Um, rip, 7 win streak. Yep. <laughs> okay, so this will be all for today, guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I might be back online tonight with a Spanish BGC stream, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, maybe I'll stream again in English um, We'll see how I'm feeling but if not tomorrow guys tomorrow um, Tomorrow Friday in the morning throughout the day. I will be live streaming the TCG Pokedex series Okay, so the TCG Pokedex series I'm gonna be using decks that are not very competitive So but I'm gonna be playing against you guys. So if you guys want to bring like your uh, Fancy ideas, cool ideas, different or regional ideas. Um, bring them over to the to the chat um, or to the stream, and you will get featured on YouTube. You will get uh, we will play against each other, and it could be fun. Yeah, it could be fun to to do. Um, Tristar, I'm not quite at Kudra yet in the Pokedex. We're only still in Kanto, but eventually in the future there will be a Kudra deck. 
Um, play for this weekend. Uh, there's a tournament this weekend. Um, play for this weekend, I think Pikabulu, Espion Carp, um, Zorak, Lycan Rock. Those would probably be within my top three decks for this weekend. Um, obviously adapted to a, a Garb presence that will probably happen um, throughout the throughout the next coming uh, League Cup weekends, I guess. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to play against tomorrow, try. It. I mean, you can play me with a meta deck, but the thing is, the game won't last very long if you play me with a meta deck. So if you bring uh, fun decks, we can play against each other. And um, oh, in South Africa, there you go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you can we will play against each other. It should be fun, um, less competitive, less pressure, less etc. Um, and throw a ban. I haven't made the final decision yet on whether it's just gonna be English or there will be Spanish as well. There might just be less Spanish, uh, simply. Uh, but it's just there's been less support from the Spanish side um, So that's why it's not like the support has remained the same and it hasn't grown. It's that it's actually declined So if there's less interest then um, There's no reason for me to keep uh, pushing content that will simply not uh, Get enough views to be worthwhile. Yeah um, So yeah, that will be all for me today guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm sure the stream will auto host, auto host Azul now. So I hope you guys enjoy him playing. And I will see you maybe later today, but definitely tomorrow, okay? And Troban, by the way, um, Spanish VGC content will be definitely making, will definitely be making an appearance in the channel. So um, I won't stop speaking Spanish in the channel forever. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I will see you um, soon. Bye.